So this video is basically a continuation of that Passport Bros video I made. I'm pretty much going to be saying the same stuff that I said in that video, in this video. I was about to say I'm not going to change my opinion. It's not an opinion. What man said in that video is fucking facts, blood. <laughs> Add my come underneath the comment section. Oh, why you dick police and that, blood? What are you talking about, fam? Anyway, what's inspired me to make this video is because my girl has sent me a post that was on Instagram. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen record it because I don't know how to find the original video. So the quality might not be all that, but just listen to what the you saying. So my girl sent me a post on Instagram and then I actually saw it on the page as well afterwards, a couple of hours later afterwards. Uh, here's the screen recording. Take a look at these diamonds. I'm back and I got another message for black men. There's 40 million black women in Latin America. Stop thinking black women only come from Hackney, Brixton, Halston and Croydon. You brothers are still taking some of these UK and American women on these 300 and 400 pound dates. Stop being a dummy with your money. Book a flight to the Dominican Republic, Brazil or Colombia. Find you a nice, feminine, cooperative, attractive woman and rock with that. If you're still dating in the UK or the US in 2023, nine times out of ten, you're getting a bad deal. This date was at a fancy restaurant, Oceanside, total cost, 30 pounds. I'm not talking about going halfway across the world and bragging about only having to spend 30 pounds on a date with a girl. First of all, why the fuck are you spending £300 on dates with girl in the UK anyway? You think I've ever spent £300 on a date with my girl? Never, blood. I think the most that the, the dates ever come out to is probably £100. Maybe £110, 120 max. But I'm going to have to break this thing down again, blood. You know you got an issue with girl if you've never dealt with girls in your close proximity. So look back through your Ross Club timeline. Look back through your timeline, my brother. If you've never dealt with girl who's lived on your road, on your estate, in your flat block, from your school, college, university, work, some sort of club, swimming, boxing, taekwondo, whatever in it. If you've never dealt with gyal, workplace, if you've never dealt with gyal in your close proximity, that means you're shit blood. You're shit blood. You're shit with gyal blood. Man not bossy, man not... Uh, but what I'm saying is, blood, I've dealt with gyal that lived on my road, gyal from my school, gyal at work, gyal at taekwondo. I don't think there's any situation... I'm not saying every fucking workplace I've been to. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is I don't think there's any sort of situation that I've been in where I ain't been able to get a gal. You shit blood. I remember like only in school, man only dealt with two like, yeah, I want because <laughs> I ain't promoting man, yeah. But two girls, man went and got what I needed to get in school, innit? One of them was in a year below, man. And the other one. Obviously, it was in my year. But then, funny enough, I dealt with her brethren outside of school. So, like, my man was in college. I dealt with her brethren. Her brethren lived on my road. And then the girl that lived on my road, I dealt with her cousin a couple of years before that, blood. When you, when, I'm not saying, man, some, yeah, with gal. But what I'm saying is, you know you're, you're kind of decent with gal if you can deal with girls in close proximity and that. If you... It, if you have to cast a net far and wide to get a fucking return, to get a result with a gal, blood, you're shit, blood. You're shit, fam. It's a you problem, blood. Ask yourself this question. Who do you think is technically better with gal? One guy who's fucked four girls in his local area, in his postcode. Or the other guy who has banged four girls... But one's in Leicester, one's in Manchester, one's in fucking Wales, and the other one's in Cornwall. The guy that's banged the girls in close proximity, blood. He don't even have to travel, blood. Again, like I said in the previous video, traveling for gyal. I'm talking about just staying within the UK, blood. You get guys, yeah, from London who decide to go quay up to Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle on a night out. 
You're not fooling nobody. I know why you're going up there, blood. They're going up there because if they could go to Shoreditch and pick up a girl, and they don't even need to bang the girl, you know. They could just, I don't know, I can't remember these terms, first, second base, all that bullshit. What I'm saying is, if they could get close with the girl, even on the first day or whatever, the second day afterwards, and that, they'll think, you know what? There's no point going out there, but blood, these men are going Shoreditch or wherever they're going to look for gal, and that's the wrong energy you're on anyway. They're going to these places to look for gal, they ain't getting no return. So they say to themselves, you know what? Let me go quay away. Let me uh, use the London factor. Yeah, man got the London factor on, on my side and now on, on our side. Man's going out there with a team of, of five and that. Let's go out to Liverpool. Let's go out to Manchester. Let's go out to Newcastle and that. So we're the only lions in the jungle, blood. Like I said in the previous video as well, forget about Gyal. Man, them do it with drugs, blood. I know are you. Told him that I moved to Northampton. Oh, blood, I got, I got a line up in Abington, fam. There's, there's, there's a place called Abington, just, I don't know, 10 minute drive from my yard, innit? People, man, them will, man them from London will go and use obviously places like Northampton and Norwich and all these other funky kind of places that might as well be on the other side of the planet. And, and, and until my, my brethren, big on my brethren, Benga, until he brought me up to Northampton, I never even heard of Northampton. I thought Northampton was next to that Southampton place. They're completely different. Northampton is in the East Midlands, near Derby and Peterborough and all these funky places. And that Southampton's, I think he's even got coastline, is down south near Portsmouth and them places there. The man from London are going up to Norwich and uh, Northampton, all these funky kind of places and that, because the ends is too saturated, blood. They can't make money. So they have to come up here to make money in that. The man them, who are on the nights out, going to Manchester, Liverpool and Newcastle, I don't get it twisted. If you just want to leave the ends once in a while, it, yeah, that's cool. But the man them regularly taking trips up there, it's because you feel like the ends is too saturated, bro. You ain't getting no results, blood. These guys that are going up to this area, that ends, that ends, whatever in here, to shot and trap. Do you think if there was no trappers in the ends, do you think they'll be going up to Norwich or, or Northampton or Norfolk and that to, 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 to make money? No, they'll be in their ends. But because obviously they're not getting the results that they want, it's too saturated and that, they have to leave. The man them who are going up to Liverpool and these other kind of funky places and that to get gyal. If they were getting results on the ends, when I say on the ends, I mean anywhere in London and that. If they were getting results in London, you think they were, man, they were lazy. We're lazy daters, blood. We're lazy daters, blood. If you can't get girls in your close proximity and that, it's a you problem, my brother. I'll give you another analogy. How many you want, fam? you got a fisherman. One of them is able to catch four fish. Fishes, fish, whatever. Four fishes in a pond. The other fisherman, he has to go way out to the Atlantic Sea to catch four fish. Who's the better fisherman? The one that can get four fish in a small area like a pond, as opposed to a fucking the Atlantic or the yeah the Atlantic Ocean. If you're one of them guys, you've had four or five girlfriends, but one's from Leicester, one's from Wales, one's from Ireland, one's from Germany, one's from Scotland, and that blood. That means you're shit with gal. Because if you was able to get girls in your close proximity because you was okay with gal, you would be dealing with them. So these guys that are going over to, I don't know, like, oh, even, yeah, even the Americans are going over to Eastern Europe and that. But these guys over here that are going over to Eastern Europe or wherever, wherever, innit? Yeah? It's because they're shit with gal, blood. They're shit, blood. You're shit, fam. And then you got a man wanting to go over to Eastern Europe with £50 in his pocket and think he's going to get all the baddest gal. Come on, man. Uh, blood. Each to their own, innit? If you decide one day, you know what? I'm just going to go over to Russia or Bulgaria or Romania and mash up and brock up the place. Do that, innit? But, blood, if you feel like you need to do that on a regular basis, blood, it's a you problem, my brother. We got these idiots, these American youths on YouTube talking about, oh, yeah. Oh, man. I ain't going to call no one's name, innit? Because the brothers, you get me? They're cool, innit? But I know why they can't get gal in America. And the thing is, no homo, they're good looking. No homo, if someone said, I don't know, oh, you have to, you're not going to look like how you look now. You're going to trade places with, I'll trade places with one of them, man. They're cool, them man. They're, but it's the way they are as a person. There's one, you ain't going to say his name. He's on this passport bros nonsense and that. He moves like he's an old man. He talks like he's an old man. 
I know why the girl in America ain't, got, ain't interested in him. Ain't got nothing to do with his looks. Because that same guy, that same guy there, there's a version of him that is good with girl. There's a version of him that's got swag, got charisma, got charm. And I ain't got no swag, no charisma, no charm. No homo. He's a good looking you, but he's like an old man. Do you know what his problem is? He, do you know what it is? He's dating girls that are too young. I just figured it out. He's dating chicks that are too young. He needs to date older women. He's like an old man. You need to be careful you're taking advice on these dating coaches and that. I ain't gonna say no names, but one you. Get me. Hench you. Good looking you. No homo and that. Man's in South America and that. Talking about, yeah. Uh, you know, the dating thing's easy. It's easy. I'm chopping girls left, right, and center every day and I've got a new thing and that. Blood. You're a hench you. You're good looking you. No homo. You're in a country where there's no black people. Blood. Of course, you are going to be chopping down everything that looks good blood but you have to ask yourself why are you there in the first place it's because you've got no success with the gallum in your country why the fuck would you go from america to colombia or where brazil wherever for gal america's got a variety you've got white girls you've got chinese girls you've got black girls you've got latino girls why would you want to isolate yourself to one demographic of gal because you weren't getting no girls and they're not nothing to do with the way a man looks, the way a man carry himself. I guarantee you, if that youth was a road you looking that way, he would be getting bare girls. But when men are soft, when men move and act like old men and that, blood, what girls want to wanna fucking deal with that blood? you got to look at yourself objectively and think to yourself. And, and that's the thing. Man them will say, oh, it's the chicks, it's this, it, whatever, innit? Blood, you got to look at yourself and say, I'm shit with girls and this is how I'm going to improve myself, blood. That's it, blood. So, yeah, man. And, you know, it's men, it, it, it's our fault, not me, but obviously it's our fault as men why these women feel entitled to, because obviously in the video, it say, oh, yeah, 300 pound date. And I, but are we taking that girl on 300 pound date? Come on. Come on, blood. That's supposed to be main wifey sort of money you're spending, but not on a fucking date. See, you don't even understand, girl. If you understood girls, you would not, you would never, you would never spend three hundred pound on a date. Do you know why? Because these girls that you're going out on a date with, they want a break from their boyfriend. Some of them, yeah, they want. They're just using you to take her mind off of him. And you're gonna go spend three hundred pound on that, blood. Your date should be over the phone, fam. Passport fucking bro. Like I said, bro, each their own in it. If man wanna do it one time in their life, shoo, yeah. When I go to you get me Czech Republic or wherever in it, Macedonia, wherever these countries, I ain't even know these countries' names. And mash up and brock up the place, each their own in it. I ain't doing that bullshit. But, uh, listen, I've got a property in Egypt that I still have not gone and visited and that. So if you think I'm going cross country, hey, fam, you can forget it, bro. My girl don't need to worry about that, bro. Yeah. Going over to Europe to think, man, you got time for that blood. But I will say though, shh, don't say nothing to my girl. Germany got some things, you know, every now and then. Boy, something will pop up on my Instagram. Them just hey, it's going off in Germany, you know. So you know what? I might have to be a passport bro for one. Nah, I'm playing around, man. But yeah, that Germany got, got a couple of girls. Germany in the I mean it's like anything anywhere, anyway. Every country's gonna have a few gal that are just top of the tops in it. So, um, but yeah, man. They, if you look back through your timeline and you struggle with gal, you have not got girls in your close proximity and that. No girls from your estate, your road, your flat block, your workplace, your club, your uni, your college. If you've, if you've never dealt with girls in close proximity, fam, unfortunately, it's a you problem, blood. You're not appealing to gal. Everyone could be appealing to gal, blood. 99% of man. It's just the way you look, the way you carry yourself. You, you gotta look decent, obviously. Yeah, for the most part. You gotta look decent. And even then, like as long as you're average looking and that, you see, the, the thing about looking decent as well, it's just, just to get your foot in the door. That's like approaching girls, basically. But if you're at a workplace with a girl, you don't need to approach her. Yeah? You you can charm her with your personality. So if your personality, your girls are not uh, attracted to your personality and that, fam, it's a you problem, blood. The only difference between the road youths or the guys that get all the chicks and that, bro, it's not looks, it's the way they carry themselves, blood. That's it, blood. That same guy that's struggling with girl, that's like, okay, looking no homo and that, there is a version of him that's like a road you or that's got swag and that, what girls like, 
and he's doing well, fam. I'm not saying a man have to be a criminal, blood, but what I'm saying is man need to develop some swag, some charisma, some charm, blood. You don't have to be a fucking criminal to get... Yeah, look at James Bond. Smooth, smooth as anything. There ain't no fucking gangs. There ain't no road. You, he ain't building up a spliff. Yeah, when they when they on their brakes offset and that. So, man, them just need to, you get me, just develop charm, swag, charisma about themselves, man. You can get girl in it. Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done, man.